Hello, my name is Samuel and today we are going to be talking about how to use fingerprints in Uganda EMR. Okay, so um, this is my Uganda EMR instance here in my local computer and um, I'll be showing you a couple of few things. Um, okay, let's get into today's lesson quickly. Uh, in order to search um, by fingerprints, you need to have a digital personal device for 500 and its devices installed, its drivers installed. So uh, those are some of the things you need. Then in order to search by fingerprints, uh, we have uh, a, an icon which is introduced by the fingerprint module, find patient by fingerprint. So when you click on it, it will take you straight to an interface where you can be able to search patient by fingerprint. Um, okay, it's loading. Okay, when we are here, uh, there is an icon on the side. It has a fingerprint and then it has a search. So when you click in it, it will bring a search option. And when we click on the search option, it will say scan your finger. So I'm going to go ahead and put my finger on, the, on that. So when I put my finger on that, it says patient not found even at central server, even here. That means my fingerprints are not registered. So I'm going to go ahead and try to look for a patient by Luwama and register their fingerprints. So I'm going to click on Luwama here and uh, we'll go ahead and register their fingerprints. So, uh, Luwama Samuel's dashboard is loading. So let's wait for it to load. Okay, so Luwama Samuel's dashboard has loaded and there is here there is add fingerprint on this side and also here you can see that fingerprint details for Luama Samuel are not there but there is add fingerprint on this side so we'll go ahead and try to add patient fingerprints for Luama Samuel okay so so this interface will load, which has scan right thumb and scan right index. So I'll go ahead and scan the right thumb. So it will require four samples, which I'll put one, two, three, four. Okay, so it says right thumb was enrolled. So I'm going to go ahead and enroll also the right index, which is one, two, three, four. So after the right thumb has also been enrolled, um, then I'm going to go ahead and try to search by fingerprint to see whether this fingerprint actually really searches, whether I can search the one must have by fingerprint. So I'm going to go to find patient by fingerprint here. And then I'm going to click on find and then when I click on find patient by fingerprint, suppose I put any fingerprint of Luwama Samuel, it should be able to direct me to the patient dashboard of Luwama Samuel without having actually to select him, but when he puts their finger, it should be able to land on the patient dashboard, which is going to happen. So you can see that the patient dashboard has loaded uh, by just simply putting the fingerprint of Roma Samuel and it shows that right thumb was enrolled and right index was enrolled. Suppose we've made a mistake and we've put fingerprints of Luwama Samuel on another patient or we've put, uh, so we've put another patient to fingerprint on Luwama Samuel. So we can go back to add patient fingerprint, add fingerprint here. And then this time around, when this loads, 
it will only have delete existing fingerprints not add right thumb add right index so I'm gonna go ahead and delete them when I delete them that means they are deleted when I go to back to to searching somewhere by fingerprint it won't allow so let's try to do that and then after we end our tutorial so okay so as it loads so let's click on search and see whether Luama Samuel won't be available so you can see that Samuel cannot be found by fingerprint since be because he has his fingerprints have been deleted so that is it mainly about fingerprint thank you bye